Hey guys, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic. Today I'm going to show you how to switch your onboard propane use into one of these 20 pound portable cylinders. Um, the reason that at least I like to do this is if you're going to be in one spot for um, a large amount of time, like more than a few days, like a campground at um, an RV park or someone's driveway, it's a lot more convenient to take this with you to the store to get refilled than to take your whole home with you and use that propane. Also, sometimes it's nice to just have an extra propane cylinder with you for those extended vacations. The only thing that you really need to do this project is a 7 8 inch wrench to unhook this. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. And remember, you can get these almost anywhere. Walmarts have them. You can swap them out for like 20 some dollars or you can just buy one without having an exchange for like 45 or something like that. Um, I've had this one for a couple years and I just refill it um, anywhere that fills propane. So get yourself one of these. This is a 20 pound cylinder or a five gallon propane cylinder. So um, first make sure you find out where your propane tank is located. Mine's right here. It's an onboard tank right here. Make sure all your pilot lights are turned off inside your RV and then turn off your propane. Now there's gonna be a hose that goes into your tank that takes the propane out, you're going to want to unscrew that hose. Um, and remember, it's the opposite of like standard stuff. So to s it's actually clockwise is going to unscrew it instead of like a standard screw. Sometimes it also helps just to kind of jiggle and shake it while you're unscrewing it, otherwise it'll take a lot longer. So once that un is unhooked, you can get a feel for how much you have really have to play with. Um, some people may be able to shoot this out right here and go into their tank. Some people may have to buy an, an adapter, an extender adapter that comes off like this and gives you more room. Those are pretty cheap. I actually have the option of just running it back through here underneath. And then I can have it right here. And just screw it in like that. Once that's tightened up, just open this guy up, go back inside, turn on all of your pilots and you should be good to go. And then when this is empty, um, you have two options. You could either have a backup one of these ready to go somewhere nearby, or you could just switch it back to your onboard tank and then go fill this up in your car or something if that's more convenient. Um, do understand though, when you go back into the RV and check your propane level on your, on your panel inside, it's not reading it for this tank. It's a built-in uh, sensor that's on your onboard tank. So you'll have no way of monitoring uh, what the level of this is unless you come outside and lift it up and you know just get a feel for where you're at. But it hasn't been an issue for me. If I do run out of propane, I have another one ready, or like I say, I hook it right back into this. Um, so yeah, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.